Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So, um, a bit of a health related one again, I guess. Um, so, as those of you who actually follow this channel know, I do suffer from a number of chronic pain conditions. Um, the most notable being the inflammation that I get in my rib cage, which probably is the most problematic. Um, although, strangely, it's also fairly easy to control these days, for whatever reason. Um, I also have fibromyalgia, hypermobility, um, and one of the ones that I don't talk about a whole lot, which is sort of linked to those, is I do get issues with my jaw and the hinge in my jaw. There is an actual name for it, but just like with the rib condition, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not going to try. Um, the reason I kind of want to talk about this now is one of the things I've noticed over the last couple of months is that my jaw pain has not only flared up again, it's been getting progressively worse. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it's getting worse. Um, I 100% know that I need to go see my doctor about it. Um, but it's one of those things where, because of the world situation we're in at the moment, they're advising people to do e-consults before just making an appointment, um, and I tried doing that. Um, I had to go through on the general inquiry one rather than a specific one because there wasn't like a section specifically for jaw pain. Um, and I got to a point part way through it where um, like they, they, they sort of narrowed itself down to face pain and then was like well how bad is your face pain and I put it in as a seven because yeah that was pretty reasonable for like the level of discomfort that I was in that day um and the next screen was like yeah we can't process this any further you need to contact someone and bearing in mind I was in work and I was like well I know for a while this is not an emergency um yeah it's uncomfortable and like even as I'm doing this vlog now I can I can feel how uncomfortable it is it's not something that's like shifting away anywhere but it's it's not life threatening <laughs> um it's like as, as far as I can tell it's not something that needs necessarily immediate treatment um but I, I know I guess because the, the closest I can narrow it to was face and and not to jaw it probably like trip the system that way or whatever um but yeah I couldn't then complete the e-consult uh basically being told like either contact your GP directly or call 111 um and I was like all right okay <laughs> I don't really want to do that um and it was it's one of those cases where yeah fine okay if that's the way I've got to do it that's the way I've got to do it but the two days off that I had that were weekdays this week, yesterday I had the plumber coming, so I couldn't really be on, like, I, I imagine it's probably going to be, like, a uh, um, phone call back in the first instance, and then, like, afterwards maybe getting to see a doctor if, if they feel it's needed. Um, but I was like, uh, well, tomorrow I've got the plumber coming, so I can't really be waiting on a phone call, and today I have um, another appointment um, for something not related to my jaw uh, with a GP anyway, and I'm like, uh, okay, I, I can't really do it these two days, even though I really need to do it these two days. That's the whole reason why I did the e-consult was so that, you know, I wouldn't be like just waiting on a phone call um or waiting on it it's it, like yeah it was like I was trying to like avoid this situation of having to phone up in the morning and then um wait for a phone call essentially um and you know assuming that's the situation it was going to be in um because like if if it was a case of like you know they like the e-consult was just easier 
and you can tell it was just easier because it was one of those ways where it's like I know it's not an emergency I 100% know it's not an emergency I feel like you know if you're calling the GP directly for something um, or you're calling 111 directly for something yeah it's not for an emergency emergency because like a real emergency you should be calling 999 anyway but in terms of level of urgency it needs to be something more urgent than this and I know I'm speaking as somebody I live with chronic pain so to me a seven is not a big deal <laughs> to most people a seven would be like agony life stopping can't deal with but for me a, a seven is just like yeah that's not really a big deal um you know I I I no, even within my jaw, it can be worse than that. And I've experienced it worse than that recently as well. So with the fact that it was seven, you know, when, when I phoned up to the day, the fact it's, it's probably cutting up to a seven again now, just from like how much I'm talking doing this video, just in general. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, but that's just, that's just not that serious. <laughs> I don't, I feel like I'm wasting, I'd be wasting time by just phoning up straight for an appointment, whereas if it's knee consult, at least like, you know, I've explained the problem and, and they've got the problem and then they can decide the priority, um, whereas phoning up means like I'm trying to say that it is a higher priority than, you know, something else and I, I don't feel like it is, um, but that's just my own relationship with pain at this point in that I, I don't consider things that I probably should consider uh, slightly higher priorities a high enough priority and, as, and again I'm doing this feeling how much my jaw is hurting whilst I am talking now I'm doing this knowing that two days ago when I was at work more than once I literally had to say I've got to stop talking now because that was the level of pain that I was in, and I'm still like, yeah, it's not serious enough for me to just call a GP. <laughs> I'm terrible, I'm terrible, but again, when you're accustomed to living in a certain amount of pain, um, you just, you just don't, you just don't think, you know, oh yeah, I need to prioritise this a little bit more. Um, and, and, you know, on the flip side of that, I'm also kind of like, well, they're probably going to tell me that I need to rest it um, more than I already am. And I'm like, I'm trying, but I work in the customer service industry and I can't afford to take time off work. Um, you know, there's a certain level of communication that I have to do on, on, a, on a basic level just to perform my job. And even if I'm not doing anything else, that's still going to be more than I probably should be doing. Um... I mean, like I said, I apart from when the plumber was here yesterday, didn't really do a whole lot of talking, and yet my jaw is just from this little bit of talking I'm doing now, which is all the talking I've done this morning, is already starting to go, hey, I'm painful, what are you doing? Um, so it's, it's like a rock and a hard place. It's very much like being between a rock and a hard place. Um, on the one hand, I know I need to get this sorted, and on the other hand, I'm like, but it's not enough of a priority for me to like warrant just phoning up for an appointment, even though the e consult won't let me go any further unless I like manipulate it, and I don't really want to have to keep doing that because it's really annoying having like this is not the first time where I've gone back and had to change an answer in order to keep an e consult going through um so it's like uh, it's one of those really annoying things it it really is and I, I shouldn't have to, to to do it there should be a way of kind of you know getting to that screen and kind of going no I know it's not an emergency or uh no this is not something that I think is urgent can I please continue doing the e-consult rather than just going no we're just going to stop doing the e-consult right now you need to phone somebody because I, I don't feel like I need, I, like, even at the time, I was kind of like, I really don't, like, I can't just, like, I'm in work, it's not that much of an emergency, I can avoid talking for most of the rest of the day, and I, I, I did, for the most part, manage to avoid talking um, for most of the rest of the shift, but there were still a few times where I, like, couldn't, couldn't avoid, couldn't avoid, and it's just like, <sighs> yeah. 
Uh, well, on that note, and because, as I mentioned, my jaw is already hurting, even though I've not been talking for very long, um, I'm going to end this one here. Um, the likelihood is a lot of my next few vlogs are probably going to be on the shorter side for this reason. Um, I will aim to hopefully get it looked at at some point, probably next week. Um, just because, like, it's not enough of an emergency to interrupt we working for. I, I need to work, I need the money. Um, <laughs> um, but it is something I do need to get looked into sooner rather than later, and I know it is. And it's annoying that I couldn't like completely consult because then I would be getting it to look into sooner rather than later and not feeling like I'm going to be wasting DP's time by phoning up like it's an like it's an emergency when it's not. Like it it should not like it's not that much of a priority. Um I'm sure it's not. <laughs> but, you know, fun. Alright. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I apologise that this one's been a bit miserable. Um, hopefully the next one will be a little bit more cheerful, but again, will probably be just as short. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.